Over 60 years ago, in the small community of Mason, Tennessee, Napoleon Na Vanderbilt created a chicken recipe that could unite a community. Now that recipe is used in over 25 locations across America. Today, I'll be eating everything from Gus's world famous fried chicken. It's gonna be great, we're in Memphis, I'm excited, let's do it. As always, Eat the Menu is brought to you by Keith's Chicken Sauce, the perfect sauce for your chicken or your pizza or whatever else you're eating. Get your bottle today, get your bottle today. All right, guys, let me tell you, we had quite the adventure at the Memphis downtown location of Gus's. They were so sweet, so nice, but it was awesome. We have so much food here. There's actually only 19 items that we're trying. We already tried the pecan pie with ice cream. Let's cut to that. A little bit of a, a detour real quick. We just actually picked up the chicken, but we also got one piece of pie with a la mode. We got other pie too, but this is the pecan pie a la mode. Love pecan pie. Oh wow, it's good. It is cold, which is odd to serve cold pie with ice cream. It's some of the better pecan pie I've had. All right, back to the hotel. Delicious. And uh, let's get going, let's eat this menu. Let's start with the appetizers. These appetizers are all fried. We're gonna start off right here with a very Tennessee classic. They even packed it with ranch. They already knew what I wanted. Let's start with the fried okra. I love fried okra. It's kind of like popcorn chicken, but instead of chicken, it's this really bizarre looking plant. And we were like, mm, that's not very good. But what if we either fry it or stew it in pork? <laughs> wow, it's so salty, so flavorful, so fatty. Unbelievable. They look like little tater tots. I've had one thing and I can feel the oil in my body already. I had just as much oil as I did vegetables in those bites. We're also in the South, so of course we got a little sweet tea. Oh, that's good sweet tea. Oh yeah. That's real sweet tea. Guys, fried green tomatoes. This is just the stuff of storybooks, right? Like, I think all of us who don't live in the South think this isn't a real thing. It's like everything that a grilled cheese and tomato soup is in one bite. It's soft, it's crunchy, it's salty, it's luxurious. Wow, I forgot how good this was. It almost makes me cry. <laughs> It's so good. You guys have no idea how good this is. It's so salty that you need this sugary sweet tea. Like I'm getting shaky from how salty it is right off the bat. Fried pickle spears. Now everybody knows Britney Spears, but do you know Pickle Spears? It is the cover band that is Britney Spears music, but everybody dresses as Rugrats characters. Yes, yes. They're those kind of like, over pickled barbecue pickles. You know the ones that are very, very over pickled that are normally too soft? But by frying them, it gets that like crunch back. So it has the flavor of the over pickled pickle with the crunch of an under pickled pickle. That's a pickle pickle. Quite the pickle we're in. <laughs> uh oh! That happens. It's bound to happen. Wow, those are appetizers that are so heavy you're not gonna want dinner. <laughs> I don't know how you can start a meal with these. But now let's move on to the sides. To help me take on some of these sides, please welcome to the Eat the Menu in Between the Bed stage, Huey Stonefish! Oh, I'm meeting sides in Memphis. Oh wow, Huey, welcome back to Eat the Menu. How's everything going for you? I've never been to Memphis before and I'm so excited to be here and I just can't stop singing Walking in Memphis with other things we're doing in Memphis. Well, Huey, you're here to help me try the hot sides because you're my hot side guy. And Alex is gonna have the cold ones because he's the... Uh, I, I didn't mean for that to be mean, but it really became that, didn't wow. it? Wow, became a comparison. I just really just... think that, you know, cold things are less risky sometimes. Fair. Well, let's start with the fries before they get too cold to even consume. The fries. These look like classic fries. They said they were seasoned. Pretty not that. Fun. Yeah, pretty good. Nice seasoning. A little thick cut for my liking, but oh. not bad. Not me. But these are good. Floor fry. What are you doing? Get over here. Alex really wanted to make sure we captured that fry on the floor. Nobody cares about the floor fry. Secondary spot. Or maybe some fans do. Let us know in the comments below. These fries are fine, but fries are not why you come to the South. You come to the South, and you go to a nice fried chicken restaurant to try yourself. The baked beans. Oh, They smell spicy oh. too. They smell good. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Cheers. Oh yeah. What is that flavor? It's a little sweet. I know there's pork in them. It's like a wow. some type of vegetable flavor in there. Mm. You're right. Maybe it has like a celery or a pe green pepper in there. Some good beans, they're really mm. small beans, you know? Mm. The beans are tiny. Look at those tiny little beans. Mm. 
Beanie beanie beans. Okay, now here's a real southern treat. You got your collard greens. Your collard greens. I think I'm gonna enjoy it. I like collard greens. I don't love collard greens. Whoa. What a flavor. Mm -hmm. They're not for me, but I respect it. Mm. I get that people love this. This is not my thing. I think this is a good collard green, though. Uh, collard greens. What a what a name. What's the collar? Oh, I think the collard is the type of green, right? Well, wow. I don't really know. Is it is it that the collard is is stewing them, or is the is it a collard green like that is the type of green? Or maybe they're a fancy green. Maybe they're they're wearing tuxedos with their collars. Mm. The collard green. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> So out of respect for the hotels that we film in, first, we don't tell them. Second, we <laughs> second we create a terrible lighting situation. The blinds are broken, so this is all we could do. But then we put a sheet on this, and then we put a towel on the table so that we don't mess up the sheet, we don't mess up the table, we try to be respectful. We also took a mattress from another room. <laughs> Stealth ninja moves. It's been a wild time here in Memphis. That's my stuffed animal. It's been a wild time in Memphis. Let's finish out these hot. These hot sides with everybody's f***ing favorite mac, mac and, and cheese. cheese. <laughs> I thought we were gonna say the mac and cheese. The, the mac, mac and cheese. cheese. Oh, f it smells so good. Oh yeah, babies. Jesus. Cheers. Uh oh. Oh my god. Oh my, it's so thick. That is mac that and cheese. That is mac and cheese. That's exactly what you always want. This is the flavor of the picture of mac and mm. cheese in like Southern Living Magazine. Mm. <laughs> Very few people will get that reference unless you grew up in the South and had a mom who collected Southern Living Magazines. I am going to pour some of my hot sauce in the mac and cheese, not because it needs it, just because I know it goes so well because the hot sauce just works well with the fat. Wow, this is really good mac and cheese. Wow, that's really good mac mm. and cheese. Mm. It's gonna f my stomach up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're yeah. here playing a show at Rhodes mm -hmm. College. We have to sing in a few hours, but. Oh, that, was a, that was a novelty horn. Did we hear a little bit of that novelty horn? <laughs> All right, Huey, thanks for joining us for the hot thanks. sides. Make sure you follow Huey at Huey Stonefish. And sir, what's going on? Oh, that sounds like construction. Yeah, film it, Alex. We can see it out there. <laughs> All right, bye, Huey. Bye. And now it's time to bring another guest on. We're out with the Hue and in with the Lou. Welcome, Alex Lewis. All right, hey Lou, good hey, to see ya. Oh shit, what oh, we got here? It's time for everyone's favorite segment. Alex made some cookies for the all you can eat eating the menu time. But I'm very excited to present you with these brownies. Now here's why. Brownies are generally made with cocoa powder. Uh -huh. Well, my brand new girlfriend, uh, has cacao powder and I accidentally made the brownies with cacao powder. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. So dry. Mm hmm. It's yeah. The driest, well, it's the driest thing you've given me. I mean, I will say they've been sitting in this paper plate for about two and a half days. Oh my lord. You know, I don't hate the flavor. Told you. But it's not better than a brownie. Mm hmm. And it's mm -hmm. very dry. Okay. Okay. Alex, uh, thanks for this. It's yeah. A great segment. You're um, welcome. Let's get rid of these, huh? Normally, Alex's things are actually really good, and I'm just being really critical. Those were not very good. Yeah, that, I, I, it was a bad mistake. Okay, well, it's time to have some of the cold sides with Lulu over here. We've got some. Yeah, um, by the way, I don't know how much I appreciate being your cold friend. Well, not not my cold friend, just the- Your cold side guy? Well, you're what just not it? the hot one. I mean, Huey's the hot one. You're less hot. But it's just because he's so hot. Nobody could ever be hotter than Huey. Exactly. Let's have some coleslaw. Okay. The coleslaw. the coleslaw. Huey's loving this because we just called him hot. Mm -hmm. Huey's so thirsty for himself. My girlfriend likes to say that Huey, he's like a sponsored Instagram post for himself. <laughs> yeah, he is, I agree. I don't love the coleslaw. Me neither, it's very bland. I think it just didn't sit long enough in its juice. Like this is a very fresh batch because it's very crunchy, which I like, but it's very just, cabbage tasting. To its credit, I feel like if you were like eating a fried chicken dinner with this, you could just completely forget about it and eat the whole thing. It's not bad. It's coleslaw. You know, you're really only there to offset the amount of grease you're eating with a little of the dairy fat. The, the potato, potato salad. salad. Oh, it smells great. It does smell really it smells good. smells really good. It's good mayo. Cheers. Pink. Here. Oh, there it is. They spent all their time working on the potato salad, and that's why the coleslaw is fine. All the love in the whole restaurant went into this. This is Holy fantastic. shit, that's really good potato salad. It's, it's really yummy. It tastes so different, too, than other ones I've had. What this is, is it? To be honest with you, this is the first time I've ever tried potato salad. I think it might have maybe egg or... Huey's going crazy behind that camera because I just said that. It makes me imagine that 
Every time I've seen a waterfall, it's just been a mountain crying. Why do you always bring up waterfalls during Eat the Menu? Because it makes me think, you know, we shouldn't go chase waterfalls, you know, like they're hard to find. And we sometimes forget that the good stuff that's around us already, we don't need to go chasing after waterfalls. We're underappreciating what we have. Keith, you don't like doing water activities. I don't, I'm afraid I'll drown. I mean, I'm terrified of puking and I just can't imagine a scenario where I'd be like, Oh, it's oh, kind of like the mountains beautiful. puking. <laughs> You're right, it is more like puking. That's not what I said. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. So the last thing, for some reason, you can buy a whole jalapeno. Now, I don't want this. I don't want it either. No, but it is technically on the menu. Why did you think that this would be the right thing for me to try? Well, it really was, you were just here at the right time. Right place, right time. This is gonna be so spicy. The, the jalapeno. jalapeno. Why is this an item? I think it's only 35 cents. It is very spicy. <laughs> you saw how little I took? It's spicy as f All right, here we go. I've never had like just a jalapeno. Well, before. get ready. Took a bigger bite than me. Oh. It's spicy. It's good. That is really fucking spicy. It's good, it's spicy. That is actually really good. It's tasty though. The pickling on it's really nice. Alex, it's been great having you. What's your favorite memory so far in uh, Memphis? Somebody recognized us uh, out in public last night and this young lady. <laughs> <laughs> very sweet, very kind. If you're watching this, I think you're absolutely lovely. We take a picture together and then she goes, can I just get a little handshake? Check out I Ate a Thumbtack. Also follow I Ate a Thumbtack's mom, or I'm sorry, just Thumbtack's mom for more Alex Lewis's mom content. Yes, I'll be managing her career from now on, so if you would like to book her, yeah. reach out. Get out of here. <laughs> Now, please welcome for his first time on Eat the Menu, my friend from high school, Joe Pena! Joe! All right, Joe, get on in here. Slink your, slink your little booty on in. There we go. Joe is my friend from high school. We both went to Smith County High School. Since uh, in the last couple of years, we sort of rekindled our friendship. I've visited Nashville, seen him a few times. And what is this called? So this is Diskin Cider. We're Nashville's first craft cidery. And this is our 615, our Nashville signature cider, fruit tea. Myself and the two owners uh, started this a couple years ago, and our mission is just bringing great craft cider to the southern states. Oh yeah, that's good. Well, it's now time for us to share a little tender moment. These are the chicken, chicken tenders. Mine looks like a golden fried feather. They're, I, you know, it is sort of orangey gold, isn't it? Yeah. Mm, it has a little heat. A little heat on there. Little little something on the tongue. Mm -hmm. Nice and juicy. Nice and juicy, little heat. It's not like exploding me with flavor, but I think that's because it's a tender. It's off the bone, you know? I'm, I'm a bone-in boy. A nice nice crust. It's mm -hmm. like nice and even and well-coated. You know, it's not as flavorful breading as I expected. It's really letting it just be about the chicken with a little mild heat. In fact, here's a hot tip. Let's do this. Ooh. Let's make this chicken sauce ranch be a little France here. It's like a good buttermilk dressing. They probably yeah. make it in the house. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know it's my sauce, guys. I know I'm endorsing my own product, but I don't actually make it myself. I just helped come up with it. So every time I try it, I'm like amazed at how good it is. This woman named Claire makes it. She really deserves more praise. That's why I endorse it. There's all these people who benefit from it. Not just me. Well, Joe, what's your Instagram handle? Where can people find you? I'm at that Joe you know. Yeah, if you come to Tennessee or Alabama, look us up. Uh, we have a great facility in Nashville. Hope to see you guys there soon. Oh, we'll be there. And, uh, we played a show there once. Yeah, Lou Burger, Lou Burger kills it. Well, that's a great plug if I've ever heard one. See you later, Joe. Good to see you. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, it's now time for us to move on to the whole hen, which we actually did order eight pieces, so technically that's a whole hen. You never know if it's all the same chicken. It's probably not the same chicken. That's probably not how it works. But maybe every once in a while, fate allows for there to be a whole chicken. Okay, so we got a big old bag of chicken. Now this is this is how it's done. If you've ever been to a real fried chicken place, they give you white bread. And the white bread is meant to just sit under your chicken so that all the, the grease that comes out of your chicken gets caught in the white bread. You then eat that white bread because it has a little extra chicken left over. This is it. This is what the whole thing's built on. It's a 60 year old recipe. This was supposed to be fried chicken that can unite a community. Let's start off with the leg. I love this little, little belt it's got on right here. You know, little belt buckle, little chicken leg belt buckle. Mmm. You hear that? Oh, f Woo! It's good. Tender was good, but it was missing, like, into the bone flavor. It really does add a ton of flavor. All you people out there getting boneless wings, I get it. 
you know, it's cleaner, but you're missing out on flavor. Let's move on into the wing. Mmm, I love the crunch on this. Whenever fried chicken can sit around and keep its crunch, even if it's in a bag, even if it's steaming itself, you know it was fried to perfection. I know they use a peanut oil. I do love a peanut oil, it's a little cleaner. You know, sometimes you get it and it's like, almost like totally brittle. It's been fried to, to a crisp. No, they know how to do every single piece. Good job, Gus. Get on the buzz, Gus. The thigh. I do love a good chicken thigh, and this, I, I appreciate this has the whole, the set of bones here. Sometimes the thigh just has the main two bones, and sometimes they keep the backbone. The backbone here means you get those little organs, those little secret chicken organs. <gasps> mm, I gotta say, the dark meat here is stupendous. This is excellent fried chicken. I was kind of doubtful, to be honest. I was like, is it gonna be, that good is, you know, I, I know it's good, but is it that good? But I think it's that good. And everybody there was so sweet. Everybody there was so nice. They were smiling. They were saying, hey, I got their business card. A true test of a fried chicken restaurant is the breast. Look how thick this is. How hard it is to perfectly cook this thing. Also, my mouth is quite spicy right now. Wow. It's so moist. It's so tender. Look at how easy this just comes right off. You see that? You see it glisten? You see it shine? That's moisture, baby. That's good stuff. Man, I'm getting fed up on this chicken right now. It is so good. My mouth is hot. I'm gonna dip this in my little hot sauce ranch concoction. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Guys, I'm feeling so good. Do I look gross? Yes. It's a little gross. Just all the moisture dropping out of your mouth. It's, called, it's coming out of my mouth. <laughs> That's what happens when you eat really good food. Things get messy. You get all greasied up. Gotta try that bread, bro. Oh, I gotta try the bread. Just classic white bread. Mm-hmm. It's good white bread. It helps quell the heat, so they say. Wow, that was really good. I'm fucking blown away. Well, the chicken's amazing. Let's pack up the chicken and head on into our just desserts. Now joining me to try four different slices of pie, please welcome two girls. Woo! All right. <laughs> America, please uh, get to know Jordana and Davey. These are two students at Rhodes College. So we were performing at your school tonight and we were texting with them about what we wanted for dinner and then they saw on our story we were eating Gus's. They asked that we could be in the video, I think as a joke, and we said sure. <laughs> so they're here. Well, thanks so much for joining us here on Eat The Menu. We're gonna have some pie, you ready? Yeah. Pecan, Pecan pie. pie. One more time. You should have sweet potato. potato. Oh, you're right, yeah, what was I thinking? <laughs> Sweet, Sweet potato, potato pie. pie. So I only have one spoon for me and one fork for both of you. <laughs> That's perfect. So I'm gonna take a spoon. That's how you we take eat a fork, all our and meals. then you can eat it like a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say it's too sweet for me. I don't think I've ever had sweet potato pie before, but that's not what I expected it to taste like. It's very, very sweet. It's not my favorite. It almost tastes like granulated sugar. Yes. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Have you ever, you've never had a uh, sweet potato pie before? No. You? No. In four years in Memphis? <laughs> yeah, we I know. Hey, Memphis we went to Memphis for four years. We've both years. never been to Gus. Yeah, we should expose either. ourselves. We've never been to Gus. It's right here. There's two locations in Memphis, if not three. Yeah. yeah. See? Don't go chasing waterfalls. Listen to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. Well, that was uh, that was a little of a letdown, but I bet there's a more delicious pie in here. The coconut, coconut pie. It's very coconutty. Oh gosh. It's okay. Whoa. It's like if a snowball, those little coconut can't things were a pie. It's actually kind of great. Yeah. As someone who doesn't like coconut <laughs> and took a very big bite. What do you think? It was pretty good. It's yeah. very sweet and it's not like, I think my problem with coconut is the texture because I think mm -hmm. it tastes like paper, but it was actually pretty good. I do get what you mean by the paper. It kind of is like eating shredded wax paper. But really delicious. Yeah, shredded I also paper. don't like coconut and that was <laughs> great. Yeah, this was actually quite good. I've never had a coconut pie, come to think of it. And it kind of has the base of a pecan pie, but there's all this coconut. Like look at this whole top two thirds is just shredded coconut with sugar that's been baked. It's actually quite good, Lewis. I know that you're shaking your head and making a stink face, <laughs> like a little stinker. But it's good. Now that's a pie. The, the chocolate, chocolate chest pie. pie. Ready? Yep. It is a lot like a brownie. Mm -hmm. A very, very dense, moist brownie. <laughs> a dense, creamy, like an undercooked brownie as a pie. Yes. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I think it really needs an ice cream or something. We have some melted ice cream somewhere in this room, right? It's just the whole time. Hell yeah, give me that melted ice cream. Yes, look at it. Ooh, melted ice cream. I'm gonna try just a little, just to see. I think it just needs cream. Mm -hmm. I don't think you should do it. <laughs> I don't know how safe it is to eat that ice cream. It's just been sitting on the bed. Okay, let's move on to the last pie. Oh. <laughs> 
Whoa, what is this? This must be just the normal chess pie. They really loaded a bunch of extra pie into this. I'm unsure how I'm gonna pick this one up. There you go. We're gonna, just, we're gonna just go for it. So just, just, just like straight in with yeah, my mouth. Eat it like a doggy. <laughs> All, right. All right. Cheers. Oh, it's just sugar. Yeah. It's like I don't sugar like pie. That one. <laughs> It has a weird aftertaste. Like eggy sugar. I don't think it's bad. I feel like I just mixed honey and sugar and mm. bit into it. There's yeah. something in there. Do you know what it is? Oh yeah. What's in chess pie? Sugar and butter and all the goodness. Yeah. It's a southern favorite. It's just sugar and butter and maybe there's some egg white or something in there. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us. Yeah, I gotta go. Awesome. Say, cool. say bye to the ladies. Bye, bye, bye. 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 Oh, wow, what a time it's been. But now it's time for us to decide the best and the least best. Hmm, what's the, let's start with the least best. I, all this menu was pretty darn good. I was a little disappointed in the coleslaw. It was just a little, little bland. I don't like chess pie as it is. I don't like collard greens as it is, so I don't want to put them at my lowest. But I do like coleslaw, and I didn't love this coleslaw. So I'm saying the least best here is the coleslaw. Don't come at me. I said a lot of positive things. Just didn't like that one. Now, the best. Oh, there were some really good bests. That potato salad was dope. But I have to just go ahead and say the best is obviously the reason it's a restaurant at all. It's the fried chicken. That fried chicken was amazing. Specifically, I was impressed by the breast because it is so hard to do. I thought it was a perfect execution. Very delicious, great seasoning, so delicious. Oh, the, the ranch with it? And they, they sent me like six or seven things of ranch? They knew me. I'm a little ranch bitch, y'all. I love ranch. I love it. So I gotta say, the least best of the coleslaw, the best is the fried chicken, and that's it. We ate everything at Gus's. If you have a Gus's in your town, check it out. It's delicious fried chicken. I wanna say one more time, thank you to all of our guests. Thanks to Joe, thanks to Huey, thanks to Alex, thanks to Jordana, and thanks to Davey, and thanks to me. Get yourself a bottle of Keith's chicken sauce today, and if you're in the Southeast, ask your bar if they have disc and cider. Try it out, it's pretty darn good. We have it a lot at our house. I make Joe send me a case about every couple months. All right, until next time, this is Eat the Menu. I'm Keith Habersberger, see you next time. In Memphis we saw some ducks, we saw a fried chicken hut, and we had a great time. We saw Beale Street and the blues music, blues music, piano in the lobby.